Tuesday night, heading to Gods and Monsters to check out their new location as well as their new uh, Vault Bar. I forget if it's Vault 5421, I think. Maybe the Universal. I don't know if we'll have time. But as usual, this is how the sky is looking after work. Wow, look at that. That's ridiculous. It looks like the world is going to end over there. What is it with these storms lately? Well, this certainly escalated quickly. Well, officially dreading making this left turn and not being able to see where I'm turning. This is ridiculous. All right, a lot of you guys have asked me what happened to Gods and Monsters after Artagon closed. They did relocate. We just haven't been to their new location. So let's go check it out. Hello, do you work here? This is the outside of their new location. Featuring Vault 5421, a theme bar after Mad Max. Check out Voltron. So we did make it in here. We've got this whole wonderful store. All the copyrighted music above. We have this guy. Todd is back. I am. I'm totally back. I barely ever left. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got to tell us about the new place? Well, uh, we have. Uh, I get a lot of questions as to whether or not we're uh, we're using this as our new permanent location. We are. We are. Uh, uh, and I'll and I'll show you why. I mean, I'm going to show you the new bar. It's pretty rad. We, okay. Uh, we just opened Vault Five Four Two One, which is uh, at the last location. As many people know, we uh, we had the off-world lounge. Uh, which was kind of a Blade Runner, Ridley Scott kind of themed, uh, you know, bar and lounge. Uh, but this time we wanted to go a little more immersive, so we went uh, like it's a closed door facility. It's 21 and up. It's mm. it's pretty it's pretty awesome, man. I think you I think you're gonna dig it. Okay. Yeah. There's so much goodness here, but we will be back. I'm gonna go check out five four two one. We're going in. Whoa! Oh, I can't get distracted. Five, four, two, one. What? <laughs> this is amazing. I love how weathered it looks. I love the poster too. Yes. Good tip here. I think they get dancers in this cage. Currently not here yet. We have different types of drinks. Specialties here. We've got video games back here too. Check it out. A little mini Coleco Vision. Heck yeah, man. This place is awesome. So this is behind the bar. That is amazing. Judge Dredd showing on the movies? Whoa. Bendy Alien. Boulder beer, chocolate shake order. Best thing about this bar, you have to verify who's there first. And these are the hours. And the store for the comics and the collectibles stays open while the vault stays open. Let's take a look around what else they have at Gods and Monsters. Oh, hello ladies. Mecha Godzilla, 250, or you can get just half of them. Lots of horror goodness. Look at all of those Friday the 13th masks. And Michael Myers, what? Hello, Leatherface. Check out this Rambo knife. So much Nightmare Before Christmas goodness. Sci-fi. They have this doctor guy, but I don't know who he is exactly. Oh my god, Armageddon. It's almost worth getting, just for the nostalgia. The Rocketeer, one of my favorite movies. Ghostbusters, and they have the big Ghostbusters figures. I know we had a couple people asking about Ghostbusters recently, and they do have the figures here. That other star stuff. 
comic collectibles. Wow. It's the bat. And knowing they have these figures is half the battle. Look at this Millennium Falcon. I don't know why Leia's laying down. Could be a sign, I don't know. They have all the classic Taco Bell toy giveaways. Jar Jar is here, he's two dollars. Two dollars for Jar Jar. Wow, this Batman and Robin look pretty awesome. These are like big size Mako figures. Wow, look at all these bombshells. These are some of my favorite comic covers in the last few years, made into sculptures. I love that Joker one. Oh man, they are so awesome. And then you got the male scopes up top, except for Wonder Woman. There's a Harley up there too. Hey, it's Rocky. And the penguins, robot penguin. Wow, look at that Batman cowl. He-Man. They have the He-Man Super 7 figure. Those are new. I think they just were having like a pop-up store for San Diego Comic-Con with the Super 7 figures. Man in Arms. Marvel goodness. Look at Emma Frost. 70 bucks. I love it. I love this too. I think I may have to get that. That is pretty cool. And we got this big Thanos figure. It's a little too much for me, but I do like the little Infinity Gauntlet. The big Stormtrooper figures have moved from the former location over here. Very cool. And of course, they have plenty of comics. All of your comic book needs. So that about does it for us at Gods and Monsters. If you guys are interested, check it out. It's on International Drive. It is right down the block from Universal Studios, up that way as well as Del Taco over here. And speaking of Del Taco, it is Taco Tuesday. What? Universal at night? We literally are gonna have like a half an hour for the parks to be open. We're back. No shrimp. Boo. Wow, we got 30 minutes left and the appropriate song is playing as we go in. Indeed, the final countdown. Oh, look at Universal all lit up at night. The next time that we'll see it lit up like this, it'll be Halloween Horror Nights. And I guess this is like still a thing. So we are in the New Yorkish section at night. Jimmy Fallon's lit up, looks nice. You wanted to see, they have like lights on top of the buildings now. I don't know if that's necessarily for, to shine on Jimmy Fallon or if they've since been installed for maybe supporting like Rock the Universe, the Halloween Horror Night stuff. This is the time of year that you start to see things start coming out to the streets. And while there hasn't been any additional announcements for Halloween Horror Nights, we should start seeing props come out soon. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's the Palace Theater. And then following up, there's a light up there that is most likely used for Halloween Horror Nights. It's not a big thing to talk about, but it's the start of something. On the roof over here, you got some type of like scaffolding deal taking place. Not sure what that's all about, but when you look down Sting Alley, there's similar type of scaffolding or restraint type stuff built up there now. Inside the mummy store, They've added this classic Universal Monster Mummy at the exit of the Mummy Ride. And that is pretty cool. It almost looks like the Mummy has just finished dropping a fresh mad beat. Check out his Scarab Ring too. They've really pimped him out. At the snacks and drinks cart, I think this is probably the only big update since we've been here last. And there's one other one that we'll talk about in a second, but they serve craft beer now. Eight bucks a can for a Cigar City, or a Miami Weiss, Orange Blossom, or Red Cypress. If you're coming here, this is pretty good. The OBP is really good. Uh, the Miami, 
It's kind of so-so. But you can literally buy like a four pack or six pack for the price that they are charging for one. I'm coming up on the former home of Beetlejuice. This is the new home of the Fast and the Furious Supercharged, or as we call it, Drooper Charged. You can see the facade is completely revealed now. The paint is there. Behind us, the fireworks show is going off. But this is literally just about all that is new here. We found some light. So as you guys know, Disney just had their D23 Expo this past weekend, and they announced a ton of different park upgrades. What we showed you here so far, that's pretty much it for Universal so far. Although they did announce... No, they, they really didn't announce anything. But Halloween Horror Nights, they announced... Wait, they, they didn't announce anything either. But when Halloween Horror Nights does announce something, you can listen to my podcast along with Drew and Paul and Nathan. It's called The Four Hauntsmen. Have you heard of it? No. It's really good. That's what I hear. It's all about Halloween Horror Nights and different haunts around the area. Let's take a quick spin in the film vault, see if there's anything new here. World's greatest dad. I'd like to thank the Academy. What? Shakem's premium motion statue. It's a shark. I don't want to say bobblehead because it has like no head, but check out these fanny packs. These are actually cool. I like it. Did you wear a shark around your waist? E.T. looks like he's had a lot to drink. Believe it or not, they still have this shirt left. This is going on like three years, four years. You get a slightly broken Slimer for $900. Toretto Motors wallets. They appear to be free. Or Fast and the Furious seat belt belts. $33. Oh, right These are there. actually pretty cool. $1,500 for a signed DeLorean from everybody in the cast. And Bob Zemeckis. We have that hoverboard at home. $1,500 for everybody to sign it. We're choosing one ride here to go on because we have such limited time and it's Transformers. I don't think I've been on Transformers in like almost a year. I just knock something off the wall almost. It's the All Spark. Seems kind of weird that it's just so unguarded out here. Code Red. <laughs> That's e -Max. Oh God! Destroy him! Get him! He won't stop chasing me! Reverse thrust! Go away! Oh my God! He does not give up! It's the guy! Oh! Oh my God! With this guy already! I've had it with this guy! Give it to him! Yes! Oh my god, we killed him! We killed that guy! So I know it's difficult to see, but right in this area here, diagonally across from Horror Makeup, is where the stage goes. At least for the last two years, we had the HHN 25 Jack Show, Carnival of Carnage there, and then we had the dance troupe here last year. They have a box out here now because I believe that this is the beginning parts of building the stage for Rock the Universe and Halloween Horror Nights. Happily Ever After! Wow! Alright, fireworks ended. So you can see this wall around the area a little bit better. In any event, this should probably be the stage or the start of its construction for Halloween Horror Nights, as well as Rock the Universe. Excitement! And before all of the Universal fanboys get so excited with me, I do realize that Nintendo Land is coming. We just don't have a lot of details about Nintendo Land at this point. And we know that it's kind of far off in the distance. There's a lot of expectations that um, there'll be other smaller projects before Nintendo Land, but nothing has been announced to date. Look at his eyes. The creature from the Black Lagoon always looks like he was startled by a flash, like, oh my God, I just came out of the bathroom, dude, what are you doing? Is that the Maltese Falcon? Here's a box full of fangs. 
That would have come in handy when Vamp 55 started. Look at that Jesse James comic. I wonder if I know anybody that would appreciate a Jesse James comic. Check out this guy, he just parked right in the middle of the road. Nice job. All right guys, we're back home from Gaza Monsters and Universal, I'm soaked with like just drizzle of rain. Fun night after work, but I gotta get up in uh, a little over five hours to do it all over again. So on that note, thank you very much for watching. And thank you for all of your likes, your comments, and your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.